Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Aerolite 224ES. This is a hybrid or expandable model, so you have your hard wall sides with the uh, pop-out style, style beds here. Now this unit has three beds along with a slide out making it nice and big, especially for a hybrid. But let's go ahead and hit some of these outside features and we'll take a look inside. Right down below, uh, right underneath our main bed here, you will see the propane tank cover. Inside there are two 20 pound propane tanks. Nice and easy to access that as well. Now the beds themselves are very easy to drop down and make. I do have another video uh, showing how to set up an Aerolite hybrid, but you basically have uh, these right here. Just undo these levers on either side, the bed drops right down, then you can go inside and finish it up. Very easy process. Coming around to the side here, you can take a look right through there. You will see that's your pass-through storage, three access points, one on the door side here, one on the off door side, another uh, access point inside. Power awning on this camper. This really is nice if you have a pop-up currently with a bag awning. Uh, this is a huge improvement. Just touch a button, this rolls out. Same thing to go right back in. LED light strip underneath as well. So when this is rolled out, you can go ahead and turn that on. You don't have to get up there, hang up, string up your Christmas lights. It really just makes setting up and tearing down camp a breeze. Um, also, getting into this coach is very easy. You can see two steps right here. Nice low profile coach, so two steps is all you need the nice one the, the uh, second one there is nice and low so again just very easy to get inside two outside speakers here so if you want to sit outside listen to music you can easily do that set up some chairs underneath the awning now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside however it is bluetooth capable so if you have a smartphone or tablet you can sit right out here connect to that via bluetooth and be able to control your music from outside uh, if you like to watch tv while you're outside that's not an issue either right here are your tv hookups cable right here as well as an electrical outlet um, now of course electrical outlet can be used for anything if you don't want tv obviously you can still use that for electric griddle or whatever else you need to plug up or plug in out here also a spray port i love that they put this on the door side uh, far too often it's on the off door side and while it can have its uses over there i certainly like it being right here because if you need to spray off your feet it's right by the entrance you can spray your feet off walk inside if you need water access for you know filling up a tub or something you can go ahead and do that just makes it very simple. Right down below, you'll see that this one is a uh, double axle on here. Easy lube axles as well. That's a big benefit as far as the maintenance side down the road. Just makes taking care of your camper a lot easier. Uh, aluminum alloy rims too, so less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. And nitrogen filled tires, so you'll have more even tire wear. Uh, and they say you'll actually get better fuel economy as well. Black tank flush on there. If you're not familiar with that, what that does is instead of having to take a hose, dragging it through the entire RV and sticking it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, with this guy, you just take that hose, hook it right up there. Your black tank has sprayers built into it and it will go ahead and wash it out for you. Again, making down the or making the breaking down process much simpler. Come around to the back side, underneath the rear bed, you will see there is a spare tire there mounted on your bumper. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's sitting right there for you. Then lastly, as you come around to the back corner, you will see you have your hookups right here. So if you do have to uh, you know, access this at night, it's nice and easy. You have a light on there, 30 amp detachable power cord. I like having detachable power cords as well. It's less chance for any kind of mice or ants to crawl up into the unit there. Uh, and then you'll also see that you have your cable inlet and your city water. But all right, that's gonna wrap it up for the outside. Just wait till we see the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Aerolite 224 ES. This is a great hybrid model, as you can see. You do have a slide out here, really opening this space up. But let's go ahead and start off right over here. So you have a jackknife sofa. Uh, I love that this is here. It gives a really nice place to sit, whether you're entertaining guests or just sitting back to relax. And it also folds down into a bed in case you need even more sleeping space than what it already comes with. Uh, right up top here, you will see a window, which lets in a lot of natural light there. Uh, the granite interior, LED lights, which are nice for a couple different reasons. Uh, one, they are nice and bright. Two, they don't put out near the heat as your standard incandescent bulbs, and they use a fraction of the power. So if you are out somewhere where you don't have shore power, you're just running off the batteries, you will truly appreciate having the LED lights. Take a look up top here, you see some extra storage. Nice and easy to access that. 
Speaking of storage, one of the other big benefits of having a jackknife sofa is the storage underneath. You can see that right there, very easy to get to. Great place to put extra bedding. If you have extra pillows, comforters, things like that, that's a, a very uh, nice, easy place to access them. Now, your main bed is gonna be this one right up here. Uh, if you can take a look here, see the cable system on the side. The great thing about that, you don't have to have any supports underneath. These cables can support 1,100 pounds, so uh, plenty of weight. The mattress here is nice and thick. You can see that as well. So again, you will get a comfortable night's rest. Right underneath here, you have access to storage. This is the pass-through area. Uh, you can see the door on the, on the side there, but that makes it nice and easy. It gives you a third access point to uh, stuff you put down in there. For privacy, you can see you have the curtain there. Go ahead and close that off. Then take a look at this right over here. You'll see a little stand, some TV hookups there as well. So if you want another TV, you can go ahead and hook that up right over here. And then in this slide is the dinette. Um, the great thing about the dinette, obviously it's a nice comfortable place to sit, eat a meal together, windows all the way around. By having it in that slide out really opens this space up as well. And you have an electrical outlet right over here and of course this one here too. So if you do need to work on a tablet, computer, whatever it may be, you can easily do so. Now this does drop down into a bed. These table legs right here come out. You'll see the rails right there. So the, the table here sits right along those rails. Use these back cushions to put on top of the bed and that of course creates a yet another sleeping space. As we move further into the 224, we move into the kitchen. So great countertop space. As you can take a look here, you can see a great prep space here, a little bit over here as well. Uh, three burner Atwood cooktop on there. The front one is high output. I personally like Atwood. I think they do a great job. Excellent flame control on there as well. And then underneath here is an oven in case you wanna do a little bit of baking. Bank of three drawers, you can see that right here, full extension ball bearing drawers. Uh, this middle one here is nice and deep. This is the spray port for the outside there, this is your hose. And then also, you can take a look right over there, uh, perfect spot for a trash can, right underneath the sink, right where you'd want it, that opens up nice and large. Cut out underneath the sink there as well. And then you have one last drawer right over here on this side. Double bowl sink, makes it nice and easy to do dishes. High rise faucet there as well, helps aid in that. You'll notice right up here you have an LED light, two speakers which are connected to your multimedia center which is located right up here. You also have an electrical outlet under there. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, whatever it may be, you can easily do so. Right up there is nice pantry storage. You can take a look at that. Stainless steel microwave and hood. The hood is fully functional with a light and a fan on there. There's the weight of the unit, 4,600 pounds, so not too terrible, especially for the size of the unit. Uh, you know, one of the big advantages of hybrids is because they're not stationary beds, they really open up and are very spacious once you're inside. Of course, AC right here above me. Over on the side is where your main TV would mount. Um, you will notice a couple things, of course, electrical outlet, and right here is the wine guard. But this is connects to your multimedia center. So the big advantage of that is if you do want to watch a movie, this is a DVD player as well. So you can go ahead and pop a movie right in there and watch it here. Then on the other side, move over to the off door side here. Beautiful pantry. I love when manufacturers do this. They put in a pantry, they have a lot of food. You know, in this unit with three uh, stationary beds, chances are you'll have a lot of people camping with you. So you're going to have to bring a lot of food. So I like that they go ahead and include the pantry there. Norcold fridge freezer, go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, I like Norcold as well, built right here in the US. This unit uh, does run off both propane and electric, and also has automatic switchover. What that means is if you're running it off propane and you do plug it into shore power, that'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Then right back here are our two other two beds. Um, you know, this one, you can see the curtains right here, obviously, again, to close off for privacy. Then underneath, you have some excellent storage. You can take a look there. This runs all the way through, uh, you know, three different doors to get to that same access point, but it is nice storage running underneath. Right over here is the bathroom. As we move into the bathroom, you can take a look. Right down there is the toilet. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you, you know, sit here. There is sufficient room. So you have great leg room right here. You know, I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy, but I still have decent room up top. Uh, the shower 
So we move into the shower here. I'll step into here for you too, just to show you how much height you have. It's all about six foot. And as you can see, I have a ton of headroom, nice big skylight up here too. Adds to that headroom, also lets in a lot of natural light. A couple of shelves built in. So if you need a place to go ahead and put your soap and shampoo, you have those right there. Hand wand there, of course, as well. But a very large shower. I like that they're able to fit in a big shower. Normally you just get a neo angle. So this is definitely a nice change. Robe hooks right here. See the vent fan up top. Then over to the side is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind, electrical outlet, then right down here is your sink vanity and some extra storage underneath. Lastly, we have the uh, bed right here in the back. So again, I like this floor plan. I like this setup. You can take a look right back there. You know, this one's nice and private, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of, you know, close this curtain off. And even though the, uh, the kids or guests, whoever you may have with you, will be sleeping in uh, close proximity because of the curtains and the kind of how this one's off to the back, you still have a good amount of privacy. And then lastly, you'll notice there is an electrical outlet down there. So if you need to plug in any cell phones before bed, you can certainly do that as well. Folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Again, this is a 2017 Aerolite 224ES. This is a great floor plan. If you're looking for, you know, a hybrid unit, something that's under 5,000 pounds that can sleep a ton of people, this is one you have to look at. It has all the amenities you want. You have AC in here. You have the LED lights, TV, plenty of places to sit, to sleep. Uh, again, you just don't want to miss out on this. If you are interested and you're looking for price and availability, you can either give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV or you can take a look at our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also if you enjoyed this tour make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel that way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.